Well, tomorrow is a big day at the Illinois Amish Heritage Center. It is the official barn raising event. Yes, the Hirschberger's Miller Barn was tagged, labeled, and dismantled piece by piece and is being rebuilt at its new home on the campus of the Illinois Amish Heritage Center. I take you inside one of the traditional Amish homes on campus and speak with the great granddaughter of the original barn owner. Take a look. We are here with the great granddaughter of the original builder of the barn. We're excited to be here with Anna Hirschberger. Anna, what does this barn raising mean to your family? Well, um, since I am the great granddaughter of Christian P. Hirschberger, it's um, really nice that they're going to um, restore the barn and um, it's going to live on here at the Illinois Amish Heritage Center. So that's very exciting for our entire family. Absolutely. Now people can come see it um, as kind of a destination. Now what people may not know is that you grew up Amish. Tell us a little bit about your childhood. Um, so yes, I am the youngest of uh, nine children. And um, so growing up, of course, I wore um, these little dresses here that you see around this room. And um, there's a kind of uniqueness about um, the Amish uh, dresses. Um, when they go to church, they wear the, um, the um, white cape. Okay. But um, on a normal day, they just wear the, a dress with um, an apron. So um, that's kind of the difference. Um, they only wear the white cape when they go to church. Okay. And what does the day-to-day -day look like in, as a child? Well, um, of course, we don't have all the modern conveniences. So um, what you see here at the Illinois Amish Heritage Center is what I grew up in was, was a house um, a lot like this. So we had no electricity, um, of course, no TV. Um, so things are a lot different for me now because I did um, leave when I was um, when I got married to my husband, who was also Amish. Um, so just decided not to continue the um, tradition, but still have family that is Amish. And, uh, so um, yeah, very cool. So okay, we got some little ones around here that are also dressed. Is there specifics to how they dress and what they wear when they wear it? Um, yes. So she's. Ready to go to church over here. And what um, makes her ready to go to church? Um, she's got an apron on. Okay. Um, also, most of the times you see the little girls now with just a um, the dress on without the extra apron. Um, this little guy here, he has a white shirt on and um, colored pants, so he's ready for church. They always wear a white shirt and typically it can be black pants or gray pants for church. Um, but on a normal day, you're going to see them in any color shirt. But on church day, it, everybody wears uh, black and white. Okay, interesting. So there's a lot that goes into it. I'm sure we could talk just clothing for a long amount of time. Let's move on a little bit to what you're up to now with Yoder's Kitchen and kind of how that runs in your family as well. Um, so Yoder's Kitchen, I um, bought 20 years ago from the Yoder family. And as you noticed, my last name is Hirschberger, but um, it's uh, become a big part of my life. Um, and then adding um, things that my mom taught me um, growing up Amish and serving meals in our home is uh, also I use a lot of her recipes in um, the restaurant now so it's kind of um, what my mom taught me and now I am able to use that in the restaurant so what was tell me about some of those memories that you had at the time when your mom was was teaching you these recipes from the very beginning and now it's so cool that people can come and enjoy them still today at Yoder's but tell me about those memories of learning that initially so I grew up where the Miller Barn was actually um, located before they um, tore it down and now are going to restore it um, and my mom after my dad died um, she decided to serve meals in her home and um, so that's what I grew up I was a year old when my dad died so I that's all I can remember it was my mom cooking for people. They come into the home, she'd um, serve them family style on her porch. So um, that's how I learned my love for cooking. It's really all I've ever known. That's so good. Well, I'm sure you have a lot to share with others, including um, it sounds like your sons are kind of helping you keep the tradition going and carry on that tradition. They help you run the business, it sounds like. Yes. So both of my sons are in the business full time now, which has been um, amazing to have them um, help us to uh, continue to grow the business because um, it has grown a lot over the years. So hopefully they will keep this tradition alive. And if people want to come check out Yoder's Kitchen, what are hours? What do people need to know in order to come? Uh, we are open Monday through Saturday, um, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. and closed on Sunday. It's part of our heritage. We've um, never been open on Sunday. 
Um, we also, you can find us on Facebook or um, our website is yoderskitchen.net. And while it's so cool to be able to speak with you and what this means to your family with the barn raising, I'm so glad to have you here and thank you so much for your time today. If you want to learn more, we'll connect you with all you need to know over on our website, sayliving.tv. Well, we will be there for the barn raising tomorrow to watch a bit of history be pieced back together. Yes, tomorrow is the first of the two-day event. There will be delicious food, craft vendors, and one-of-a-kind family activity. Yes, it's at the Illinois Amish Heritage Center located between Arcola and Arthur on Illinois Route 133. So we'll connect you with all you need to know on our website, sealiving.tv.